so welcome back to igma script tutorial series so in this video we are going to discuss about some oops concept inside igma script so basically what is oops or object oriented concept so object oriented programming language is a simple programming model or you can say an organized structure where we can easily maintain and reuse the code so the thing is suppose uh, you are working in a certain project and there is some function suppose uh, um, there is some calculations and if you need the same calculation inside the separate places then you can simply call this we don't need to write again so we can reuse the code so this is the advantage and there are lots of concepts uh, like today we'll discuss about the class object then we we'll have a static concept inheritance polymorphism concept and lots of things right so we'll discuss later step by step so in this video we are going to discuss about the class and object so what is class and what is object so actually these things are related to each other right so, so without one thing we cannot recognize another thing so if you understand with a simple example it will get the more advantage so it will be more understandable suppose um, a tiger right so this is the animal you can say and the same things if i just take an example with lion also this is an animal so both are the animal that means this is the class suppose me so i am show but i am a man suppose john john one a person john is man so we are under man category right so basically this is the class the class is man the class is animal or anything like fruits suppose apple banana mango there are fruits name but the, what is the class the class is the fruit right so this is simply the class and class may have properties or methods you can say functions and if you want to access these things from the class we need object right so let's take an example so if i just create one class so to create a class we need to use the keyword that is class keyword so using this class keyword we can define any class suppose the class name is user right and if i just want to create of object of user class then how you can do this so simply use uh, let obj that is the object so why you use the let actually uh, we can use the const also so we know that the difference between the pair let and const so we will not uh, recreate any object of this class so we can use const also so it will be good practice and to create an object we to use another keyword that is the new keyword using this new keyword we can create a object of a class and after that we need to define the class name that is user you can write in this way or you can write in this way also so it is not matter you can write anything so right and what can be inside the class so this is the class and it closes with a parenthesis that is the second parenthesis and you can say this is the scope so inside these brackets we can write anything and all will be under the user class scope right so inside here suppose uh, if i just create a variable so let's create a var name but inside a class we don't need to declare in this way that means we don't need to write the var late or const anything simply let's create a variable that is name and i'm assigning suppose uh, name that is john so the variables is name and the value is john so in the same way if i uh, create another things so before that let's access the name how we can access name so we are created the object of user that is the obj so let's i am going to access this name from outside of the class how can i do this so simply write console dot log and we can get access of name with the object right so object dot the property name and if you just go here and refresh this we can see we are getting access of john right 
and if I not use the object then what happened so we cannot recognize name that means if I just refresh these things that time it will not get any output okay so that time it cannot understand from where the name is coming so we need the object so this is simple variable so if I want to create a method that is the class can have methods or you can say the functions so if I create functions the normal time or you can say in general way if we want to create a function we need to use the function cure and then we will create a um, function name suppose function details right but in the same way we don't need to write the function keyword inside here right so while we cover the angular tutorial that time we use that thing so we don't need to write the functions okay so this is the different things but in this section i am going to discuss about the class object concept and if i just going to create a functions inside the class we simply need to write in this way right so this became a function and also functions have a scope that means inside this second brackets or you can see inside this curly braces we can write anything and that will be under this details functions scope right so what we can do here we'll simply return a statement or message suppose i am writing here welcome right and if i just want to access these things same like previous so we need to write the console dot sorry e console dot log and just use the object name that is the obj and after that the details that is the method name so if you now refresh this we can get access sorry 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 there will be functions right and now print this we can get the output that is welcome okay that's simple now if i just want to pass a name how we gonna pass this simple things so if i just want to pass some properties suppose there is a name and i want to display the name from the details right so how we can we display this simply just write welcome space plus so plus is the things by these things we can concatenate in js and we need to use this name right so what is actually this this is basically refers the current object here the current property if i just want to use the current property current means inside this same class right if i just going to access the current object we need to use this right now if i just going to refresh this page and we can see welcome john so now i want to pass a variable inside the function suppose the by default name is john we cannot write in this time but here i want to pass a name to the class how can you pass this simply this is the details functions so let's take a variable suppose val okay or you can say anything so we already declared the name that's the reason i am declaring val right and we just going to override these things so how we can overwrite simply just write this name equal to val so what we are getting and now if i just go here sorry we need to pass the value suppose there is name by default john and here i am just going to pass the name that is david and let's refresh this so we are getting welcome david so here we are overriding this name also and we can pass in this way if i just write another names suppose mike we can pass this so just refresh this we are getting so we can understand what is class and object in javascript and how to handle these things and how to create class and how to create a functions and how to pass the variables i think you will like this video and if you have still any query about this video you can comment me in the comment section and the next day we are going to discuss about the constructor concept so this is another concept of object oriented javascript and please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day